guys, in this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to install Ruby on Rails on Windows operating system. So first you are going to show the download step. So in Google search box, write there Ruby. Then you can get here Ruby Lang ORG site. Click this. Then after the new page that's open, click on this download Ruby. Here you can see Ruby installer that's come there. This is for Windows. And here this is for Mac and this here for Linux. Click on this Ruby installer. Then Ruby installer 3.3 release. And here let's go on this download section. So you can see this Ruby that's come there. And here you can see this is with dev kit and without dev kit. And this is so uh, version is there. So let's uh, use here 64 bit operating system that's for. And the file size 1 to 1 MB. So you can also try to use here without dev kit, developer kit. Now you can see this file that has been download completed. Let's click on this open folder and double click on this exe file. See all these terms. Let's click accept. Next. And MSY development tool change. Let's click on next. And uh, here, this is uninstalling 3.21. So, installing, please wait on your computer. Now you can see this here completing the Ruby 3.2 setup is done and setup has been installing this install and here this is so RIDK install setup so let's click on this finish and here this is now Ruby installer 2 for Windows that's come there so you can use here one or three option let's use here one and uh, my msys2 base installers and this has turned so if i insert let's press enter so that's done here after that the next is let's open this press command prompt and now if i write there ruby minus minus version so 3.23 that I just installed there. Then after the next stage, here let's uh, run simple code of the Ruby. So using the Notepad, let's uh, open create one, not this one. Let's uh, create one text file, text document. They are going to or put this code so with the help of uh, this code we can print here and now let's click on this save and here click on this save as so saving on this text now here let's give file name hello dot for ruby we need to keep the extension rv all files click on this save so file that has saved hello.ruby so current directory is now in the desktop so what we need to do so let's copy this location open the command prompt and changing the location first 
so file is in desktop is there so let's write here ruby hello dot rb press enter so hello world that's display then after let's add two number so this here hello world that's display then after let's add the two number so this is the code is there control as to save let's click on this save as and here giving the name add dot rb and all files let's click on this save add dot the file that's created here let's write there ruby add dot rb press enter so some 13 that's display so this is how we can install ruby on base on windows operating system after that or that you know running this code so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you